So I'm doing this a little bit at a time just so you can get an idea of the process of adjusting. And we'll go into more depth on other guitars, other bridges, stuff like that later. So for this one, basically, I just want to point out that it has a zero fret, which means that you shouldn't really have to do anything with the neck nut. Um, it, it's, it's a height that is offsetting the first fret um, so that it's not going to buzz. And that's really the only thing that, that that zero fret does, is it creates enough height for the string so that it clears the first fret on an open note. So as long as that's good to go, the other thing that you should look at is the uh, truss rod. And I checked the truss rod, or checked the neck relief last night. This is a pretty straight neck. So between all of that, if the saddles are too high, if the string action's too high, I know that I just need to bring the saddle down. So what I wanted to point out was how much I needed to end up bringing this saddle down. So I've adjusted the first saddle. This string here is adjusted. And if you look at the string right beside it, I mean, that's like a quarter of an inch high, maybe even more than a quarter. Maybe it's like three-eighths of an inch higher than the low E. Now, I've got this tuned to pitch. I have the trem block locked right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here. I'm going to adjust the height down on all of these. I play a little bit light so I can have the action pretty low and not get a whole lot of buzz. So it's not until I start to get buzz around the 12th fret and higher that I worry about the string height being too low. So I take it down generally to where it's probably a little bit too low for other players just because I, I, I do you know use a light touch. But I've noticed as I've decreased the height of this saddle, it's gotten so much easier to tune. And I don't know if that's because I've tuned this string now six different times and I'm just breaking in this, this tuner, or if it's actually the fact that this string now has less angle on it. Because if you look at it compared to the one next to it, yeah, it's, it's definitely hitting that block, that um, string tension adjustment claw, I guess. I mean, it's, it's basically a claw. It just holds the ball end. Um, but it's hitting that at such a lower rate of relief than the, the one next to it. Um, I mean, those ones are, Jesus, they're like 45 degree angle almost. So um, I'm going to go through, I'm going to adjust all of those. Now, I'm not worried about the intonation right now. I'm more worried about the height. So it's going to be get the height adjusted, get it to where I want it to be, and then check the intonation and then probably have to go back and adjust um, the height again once I get these saddles where they need to be. But when you're doing a setup on a guitar, you, you, you've got to kind of go back and forth between a few different things. So once I get all these saddles and I have it all you know, set and intonated, I'll check the neck relief again just to make sure that we're good there because it'll have been sitting in the house for a couple of days by then. Humidity or dryness in the air will affect the neck. You might need to adjust the truss rod. Um, you know, little things like that, and um, you know, you'll have to do it all over again when you change strings as well, because I don't know what these strings are, and I know that I want to go to a lighter gauge string. Um, so if these are tens right now, and I switch to nines, that's going to create a situation where I'm going to have to intonate the entire bridge all over again. So. It's a kind of an inexact science for the first few times you change strings until you get a you know a brand and a, a type of string that really works for the instrument that really feels good on this, and then you've got to make sure that your intonation's adjusted, and then you've got to check it every time you change the strings, or um, you know if you haven't played the the guitar in a while, you shouldn't intonate with old strings, so then that necessitates new strings, and then it kind of puts you back in square one. So that's where we're at. Um, we're going to go now, we're going to adjust the height of all of these saddles and, uh, you know, we'll see what that gets us in terms of the uh, string height and that'll put it in a, like a playable range and then from there we'll look at the truss rod, we'll adjust the intonation, we'll lock down that set screw and we'll see what we end up with in terms of that, uh, that drag. So I'm not going to worry about catching every part of that. Um, I just wanted to point out that that first string was super high, so we're going to go through and we're going to height adjust the rest of those. And then from there, we'll, uh, we'll see what we've got.